A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. For it is not the one who recommends himself who is approved, but he whom the Lord recommends. If only you would put up with the little foolishness from me, please put up with me. For I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God, since I betroth you to one husband to present you as a chaste virgin in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Young men and women, praise the name of the Lord. Young men and women, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. Young men and women, praise the name of the Lord. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys, praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. Young men and women, praise the name of the Lord. His majesty is above earth and heaven. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Alleluia. Young men and women, praise the name of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. The opening prayer that we had for St. Rose of Lima suggested that she spent her life in complete isolation, and that's not quite true. She did reserve a place for herself in her own family garden. They wouldn't let her become a nun, so she became a Dominican tertiary, a third order, and lived in a little chaplet, I guess you want to call it, or hut or something like that, in the family garden, in, you know, a, a sense of seclusion, prayer, austerity, and all that. And yet she was also involved with taking care of homeless children, reaching out to those who are poor. So she had a mixed sense of her own life. And she also understood the relationship between the act of love of God and the way it has to be lived out in love of neighbor as well. So she's a special person who died only at the age of 31. Not a very long life, but as one of, the, uh, one of the books suggests, when she did die, just about the entire city of Lima came out for the funeral. She was that loved and that well regarded. So as somebody who was not religious in the formal sense, okay, the tertiaries are lay people, okay, kind of like oblates. So for somebody who was not a religious in the technical sense, nevertheless, and who had a, a, a short life, nevertheless had such an impact that she is known as the patroness of the Americas. And we can give thanks to God for that witness because as Rose found the pearl of great price, she can be an example for us to see what we can do to detach ourselves, to sell all that we have to buy that same pearl that we celebrate here in the Eucharist. Let us stand and pray. 